celebrities over the entire astrological universe, chasing down fun around every street corner. Pure Polino starts now. Oh, and we are here, and I am so glad to be with you. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. My name is Michelle Polino, and this is Pure Polino. Uh, on Tuesdays, we take a look into the stars and try and figure out what's going on in this crazy universe. And this year has been incredible, incredible for the launch of the show, incredible for so many things. As always on Tuesdays, my co-host, Rachel Lang, is with us. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing uh, okay. We're, we're having computer glitch problems. Yes, we are. But but it's all it's all working now. Okay, good. It'll work now. Okay. It's you sure? Good. Because I'll take back. All right, great. Go ahead. Take your, take um, your computer back. Because I was going <laughs> to give her my computer. So uh, yeah. So on Tuesdays we take a look at the stars and we try and figure out what's going on in this universe. And a lot is going on. Uh, specifically, a lot. <laughs> this in 2014 is coming in with a bang. Big bang. Huge. It's the Big Bang Theory. And 2013, I think, uh, for a lot of people, has uh, has been the Big Bang, has been a, a kind of a cathartic year, a lot of tension, a lot of, uh, a lot of change. And so it's coming out with a bang. Yeah. yeah. Going oh, yeah. out. No, going out with 2013 was insane. It was. <laughs> Who's, who, who can give me a hug? Yeah. Because yeah. 2013 was insane. Although, I have to say, I mean, we launched the show. Uh, I met so many incredible people. Yeah. All this incredible stuff happened. But it, it has been, for me, it's been a workload. And it's been, I've not seen a, a much I've, I've seen payoff in my heart and soul mm -hmm. but not in the bank accounts so hopefully that will occur in 2014, 2014. absolutely so um uh, and that's what i think a lot of what's going to go on it's it's been um it's been an incredible year i just noticed the happy new year banner behind me <laughs> and the the whole studio is decorated with all it kinds is it's of, really okay. cute did you see these little glasses no here? let me see let okay. me try let, yeah. i'll put them on are, are you putting them on here there's another <laughs> <camera over> there. <laughs> that's awesome <There> you go. <laughs> no you look cute in them you look cute in them okay there we go that's hilarious that uh, is this me yeah that's you it's totally okay. you i feel like i want to Sing an Elton John song for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Go this, for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but so Tuesdays. Today we're back after. Did you listen at all last week? I, I want to know. Because if you didn't, I want you to download the shows. Because I worked on two shows on Tuesday and Thursday of last week. They're the best of uh, Pure Polino. And I have to say, uh, you know, I called you out on, on the first one. Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh, did you really? Okay. It was, it's, it's the best of with commentary. So <laughs> I'm going to have to download. You I, are. <laughs> I have to admit when I'm with my family, it is such an all consuming How experience. Was it? it was wonderful, yeah. but it's, you know, where did you go? Tell everybody. I went to St. Louis where my family is and everyone was in town, all the, all my siblings. And, and so we start at seven in the morning with coffee and, and nieces and nephews. And then we end at like two in the morning after movies and drinking wine yeah. and, and, and hanging out and talking and playing games. And so there's literally like five minutes that I have to myself and it's wonderful. It's wonderful. But mm. I didn't get a chance to listen to the show. It's all right. But you should definitely I'm going listen. to. I'm going to. I'm going to, I'm going to totally check them out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, what is, okay, so what is dangling? She's so funny. Let's, let's, let's answer Val's, uh, text in a minute. But, um, so today I want to talk a little bit, what Rachel and I are going to talk about today is what is going to, we've had a tremendous 2013 and let's just uh, be grateful for that. And I want to start out by saying to 2013 has been a marker year of sorts for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I moved out here two years ago. I was in reality TV. Uh, I started out in in radio and television on in the news and music format and then got into reality TV and movies. But to come back to this and to have it be so welcoming and so successful and so amazing and uh, it's been a banner year in that way. And I just want to say, I want to say, I want to express my gratitude for this past year, the challenges that I faced. I don't know if you faced them, but I think we've we've all faced some challenges this year. But I'm grateful for those challenges because in the face of those, I I think we've created some successes, and some successes will are, are seeds that that are going to be planted 
for this next year to grow. So know that going into this year as we get into talking about this uh, great new moon, the super moon that's going to occur. And um, I just want to say I'm, I'm really grateful for the people that I've met, the friendships that I've cultivated. Thank you to our listeners, supporters, our sponsors, and our advertisers that jumped on, uh, like Riley and Coco, and of course, Corp Shorts. Um, but most of all, to our listeners and supporters who Absolutely. really get us through every week of mm-hmm. the show. So mm-hmm. I just wanted to say thank you. And thank you, thank you too, Michelle, for, for stepping up and, and having the courage to to do what you are meant to do uh, because your courage, I think, inspires so many other people in our community, in our friends, but also people out, out in the world, listeners that we've met, never met, who to stand up and, and take their lives into their own hands and, and do the things that they have been resistant to but that they're called to do. So <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you. No, I really. appreciate that. Really. I, I have been resistant to it. Yeah. It, it's for years i buried it so yeah. i i appreciate it and i appreciate appreciate you of course and i appreciate you too uh, so enough with the love fest <laughs> <laughs> never enough love <laughs> there is never enough love so uh, uh before we get started i wanted to read a quote from marianne williamson's new book um it is called a year of miracles it is available today by the way uh and it's a great gift for anybody who wants to start right now or start tomorrow and plant the seeds every day for your growth spiritually. So I want to talk about uh, my reflection this morning when I opened up the book. I'm on day 10. It's called On Becoming Who You Are. Beautiful. Which is interesting that you said that. Mm -hmm. Uh, Wherever you have been and whatever you've done so far, your entire life was building up to this moment. Now is the time to burst forth into your greatness, a greatness you could never have achieved without going through exactly the things that you've gone through. Everything that you've experienced was grist for the mill by which you have become who you are. As low as you might have descended, in God there are no limits to how high you can go now. It is never too late. You are not too damaged. In fact, you are better now than you would know. Okay, so we're going to start our show. Beautiful. It's going to make me cry. I know. So I read this because sometimes I judge myself for my journey. And I think everybody judges their self in some way for their journey. Thanks, Beth, (laughs) in the chat room. Um, And why we do this, who cares, I think is the point right now. This year we're going to start to say who cares and we're just going to focus like we have a little magic wand in our hand mm-hmm. and, and all magic wand is, is a, a, is a focused thought filled with light. That's all. And that's what Marianne said. That. That's, that's, Isn't yeah, that that's great? great? That's really great. So yeah. if somebody calls you a witch, say, yeah, and here's my magic wand uh-huh. and it's a focused thought filled with light. Right. And it's awesome. And she said that mm-hmm. last night um, and I just couldn't get it out of my head. Um, so this is why this resonated so much, so much with me. You know, for me, sometimes I say I could have gotten married and had six six kids and lived happily ever after. I go on Facebook every day and I say, oh, my God, look at my friends and their beautiful families. And I, you know, I say, you know, I start to beat myself up for the journey that I took. But like that quote, like this quote that I just read, it's just like this is my journey. This is the time that I own it, accept it and make it great. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think this next year, this new moon and the super moon can do for us. Absolutely. And anytime we have a, a new moon, I think it's it's an opportunity for us to look at how our our lives can start at any moment. Like right. We can we can change any any path that we're walking on, any anything that we're doing, any limitations that we're facing, that that it all starts today. It starts now. I love that. So let's get into this incredible yes. new moon that is happening. I don't know that we've ever had a, a, this new moon. We've I don't know that we've ever had this new moon with this configuration no. and this super moon. This is this is a very powerful start 
to the year, a very uh, this the next two days. If 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 you have even if you have only have five minutes, do it. Spend some time in meditation. Spend some time in prayer. Really let go. Let go of anything that you don't want to carry into the next year. Anything that you want, any seeds that you want to to plant, like you were saying before, Michelle. This is the time to do it. This is a time for meditation, for ritual, for. Uh, for prayer, for connection with other people. This is such a potent period of manifestation. Yeah, I know. And Elizabeth, in the chat room, the moon squares my moon in Aries in the 10th. That's good. It's going to start your engines. Yeah. Square, squares, a lot of people give squares a bad a bad reputation because they create tension. Right. But you don't grow Unless you're a little bit out of balance. Right. Because then you have to find your equilibrium in another way, and you have to adjust, and you have to change certain things in your environment. People who are born with a lot of squares in their chart tend to be very successful. Um, and uh, and certainly this year it, and last year have been marked by a lot of squares and grand crosses, um, which is is a lot of, of tension. Yeah. And so one of the, one of the questions that I have for you, Rach, is... is how do we how do we take this new moon because it is quite incredible <laughs> and may, you know make it work for us and one of the things that you said and I believe that everybody should do this I don't care where they are if they're in bars or not they need to write on a piece of paper before they go out and you just said it something that they want to get rid of you, you know and the, and if they're out in a, if they're going out to a club or something just keep it in your pocket take it with a backpack of matches you know put your drink down <laughs> yeah. go outside yeah burn it yeah and, and then actually the most powerful moment for that to happen is 3 a.m and, oh. and you're yeah it's three so 3 a.m so so you're you're not only staying up till midnight most of us stay up a little bit later because right, we're right. closing the bars down right i uh, know i'm just joking <laughs> <laughs> that's so not me but <laughs> not at all at all <laughs> but um but yeah so 3 a.m is like that magic moment when this whole configuration hits exact yeah. 3 a.m los angeles time which okay is a different time for other at 6 a.m in uh, New York and Philly. Yeah, exactly, so, exactly. That's great. Yeah. So that's when everything, so let's talk about what this configuration means for us. Mm -hmm. So what does it mean? I mean, what do we have? We have Sun, Moon, Mercury, and Pluto. And and we also have Jupiter. Right. And we've got... Uh, Jupiter's uh, It's. Isn't it's, it look like a... It's uh, a it looks like a bow and arrow. It looks it's like a, totally is. Right. Yeah, yeah. It looks like a bow. I looked at it last <laughs> yeah, night. I'm I like, me too. <laughs> it looks like a bow and arrow. And... No surprise that The Hunger Games is one of the, oh, that's the top selling uh, film uh, films this year, and and Mockingbird is projected to be the um, the top selling film of uh, twenty fourteen. So yeah, so this this time it is it's like one big bow and arrow. So if you think about what a bow and arrow does, the further back you go and the harder you pull into your past, the hard the the hard meaning like the further back into your past you go to clear out the old stuff, the further you shoot out when this configuration hits again in April. All right, so let's explain that statement because I love that you said that. What does that mean, the further back you go? Does it mean I got to clean my, uh, what does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> I got to clean, clean out my clean closets? Out your closets. Yeah, I got to yeah. clean out my closets. Metaphoric and literal. Actually, this is a great time to be doing that, to be clearing out the old stuff, especially as we get into mid-January where uh, with the full moon, um, uh, and, and, you know, uh, January brings about some interesting configurations that, that, uh, could, could pose some challenges to relationships and to, uh, to work. Uh, and so clearing out your closets and clearing out your past is really going in and looking at what subconscious drives are, are, cre are, uh, creating your your life's experience right now so right. for example if we all have trauma we all have right. stuff from our past that right. we're dealing with our family issues right. our our babysitter issues our you know those our kind mother, of, issues, mother issues our daddy issues totally totally so getting some therapy doing uh marianne marianne's book where you're setting setting time for yourself every day to reflect spiritually to to uh to heal uh, that that is really what what we need to be doing in order to make the most of this year because this year is also a seven year. It's a seven year. Which seven is very introspective. I it was a, really, it's yeah. a seven year. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Twenty fourteen. And this is also a super moon. It is. And this is one of five, I think. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. there will be five supermoons this year. This one and another on January 30th. Uh, both new moons and the other three will be full moons. Uh, here's here's something that I read this morning when I was doing my research on sky, earthsky.org. Uh, uh-huh. This is this is what this year's going to be. The, here's the symbolism. The climb to the top of the mountain may feel rough. And in fact, there might be moments that your hands are cracked and bloody and you might see nothing but rock. <laughs> but imagine the possibilities and the view when you arrive at the peak. This is what this year is going to be about with persistence and gentle, like discipline. Capricorn's a disciplined planet. It's a, it it's a, it's a sign. It's a diff- it is ruled by Saturn. Mm-hmm. Saturn is in Scorpio, and that's a mutual reception. You got, when you plant those seeds, here's, here's, what I'm, here's what I mean. Here's a great example. If you know you need to quit smoking, and I know some people that do, if you know you need to quit smoking this year, you better do it. Exactly. Because if not, something's going to happen. That's the kind of year that's, that, that we have ahead of us. Right. And if you know you, there's something in your relationship that, that is unspoken, uh, this could be a friendship relationship, a business partnership, a personal relationship. If you've got any stuff that you've been holding back, yeah. it's going to rise to the surface. And there are two ways it could rise to the surface. One, you set it all out on the table and you, you become proactive and say, I'm struggling with you because of, or I'm struggling in this relationship because of this. Right. Or it could rise up because of some conflict or some external event that happens right. that shakes up the foundation. So you have an opportunity to address serious issues in your life. Right. So this this n- next year, 2014, can change your life forever. Totally. Totally. But you have to be an active part- participant. Yeah. You have to realize that you are here to be an active participant. It's not like everything's going to fall at your feet. Completely. It's not like uh, Brangelina. It's <laughs> just not going to happen like that. Uh, for, some, for some it might. For uh, some it might. For you Pisces. <laughs> <laughs> you float along. <laughs> sometimes yeah. we get lucky. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes we don't. Lucky. Yeah, um, I, I think you know we're when we're looking at tonight's influence, the super moon, and uh, the the grand cross that 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 gets kicked that gets kicked off for this year. The people who are going to be the most affected by this. Yeah, I was just going to ask. Let's get into are, are Libras, Capricorns, Cancers, and Aries, and especially if you're born with an eight to eighteen degrees. So if you're like you know relatively near the the beginning of your sign, uh, you know just past the cusp, then you uh, one thing that you'll notice is is this this is this is sort of like a four month period for you where there's a lot of internal tension that pushes you forward. It's almost like the universe is saying, okay. Uh, you don't get to uh, you don't get to take it easy. We're gonna we're gonna challenge you, test your faith, and uh, and 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 then all of a sudden in April there's a breaking point, and and everything that you've that you've planted, the good, the bad, and the ugly starts to That's manifest. That's right. Yeah. Let's not forget the ugly parts will manifest as well. Yeah. Yeah. If you planted some ugly <laughs> seeds, those weeds will start sprouting yeah, too. Yeah. And that's the other thing that you got to worry about. I want to start. Are we going to a break yet, Christian? Oh, oh. Okay, great. Um, and when we come back from the break, we're gonna we're gonna talk how every sign is gonna be affected. We're gonna, Rachel's uh, done every sign, so we're gonna go through every sign, beginning with Aries. Aries. Mm-hmm. You can begin with Aries, or you can begin with Capricorn, whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> I see some Gemini's in the chat room. Uh, ooh, fun. Yeah. Uh, so when we come back from break, we're going to talk how this year is going to affect each sign and how this week is, how this week's going to mas- manifest for each sign and uh, what we can really look forward to in 2014. So stay with us. Feeling my way through. God, I love that song. It's Avicii. It's such a great song. Avicii and uh, Christian, uh, our engineer board up, has uh, told me a little bit about the song. So I thought it was so interesting that I have him on mic. So what is it? Like the guys from L.A.? Yeah, um, Avicii is, I guess, the DJ. I don't know too much about him, but I know Aloe Black. And, and Aloe that's Black, the singer. Yeah, he's a singer. He's really po- He was really popular, but 
I guess this song probably made him that much more popular. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this song rocks. I, mm-hmm. I found it the other day. I'm like, oh, we're playing that because this, that's going to that's gonna shoot us right out of 2013. Completely. And, yeah. Uh, Sarah Jane said that was her and Ace song. Aww. Sarah Jane, we miss you in studio. We, we don't do. even know where Tyler is either, but uh, everybody will be back in studio. Hopefully, well, Sarah's going to be out of studio for the next week and a half. She's back, I think, in Florida. And then, oh, she's so sweet. And then we have, uh, on Thursday, we're going to be talking about uh, all the food crazes and the fads that went through 2013. Oh, and, how fun. Yeah, and what we're going to expect for 2014. That's going to be a lot of fun. What was your favorite food craze? Oh, I, the cronut. The cronut, hello. <laughs> I didn't get to try the ramen burger. The cronut was my favorite. Um, but very fattening. And, very and fattening. You know, Yahoo uh, predicts that in 2014, the next food craze will be the Cronut 2.0. Oh, my God. With potato chips and brownies. Oh, my God. Franken pastries is what they're calling them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm just thinking about that. Okay, so we are back. This is Pure Polino. Thank you for listening. Happy New Year's Eve. My name is Michelle Polino. Uh, with me, of course, every Tuesday, Rachel Lang. We are talking all about what's happening astrologically and spiritually because, you know, uh, astrology is is just a road to take you down to your uh, through your spiritual path. And it's a road that both uh, Rachel and I love. It and, it and it's a direct road. It's a direct road. You get to see exactly what's happening yeah. along the way. Right. And sometimes I take the food road because it's very spiritual. <laughs> <laughs> They're really linked. Yeah, you know? they are. Uh, they're both powerfully linked for me. They are. But we were talking while that song was going on, and Rachel made a really good point about uh, how to clear this stuff out and get ready for 2014. Because I always thought that you burn your, your stuff the night before. You burn your little thing that you want to get rid of. Like, for me, I have blocks. And then I open up, uh, and then I plant my seed the next day of what I would like to manifest. But Rachel said no. Actually, I think that that this year in particular, it's immediate results. So you let go of something. You burn your your stuff that you want to let go of or or you clear something through a Reiki session or through uh, crying it out or journaling or praying. Uh, And then you have the opportunity to the space is opened up. In, immediately yes, and so you can create immediately from that space can i ask you just uh, on a personal level d- do you think it's because obviously the sun and moon are conjunct pluto because pluto is the planet of of transformation and it's literally manifesting and because it's in the action oriented sign and the business oriented sign of capricorn ruled by saturn i hope i'm got, not getting too deep for everybody but is that why it's manifesting so quickly, you think? Well, Pluto is the the planet of death and rebirth. Yeah. So okay. if those things are happening all at once, moon is your subconscious. That's your inner child. Right. That's that's the deep the deepest part of you. The sun is your conscious mind. It's it's the part of you that that is your day to day experience. Mm-hmm. It's it's the, the 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 part that you identify with. And so yeah, Pluto's right sandwich right in the middle of those. Uh, and it's allowing for that immediate, immediate opening when you clear some space. That's great. So you can do it back to back. Completely. Yeah. Back right, to right back. Right now. You, you burn. You burn plant. Burn plant. Burn plant. Burn plant. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Burn plant. So we're going to go through the signs and let everybody know what's happening for them this week um, on this new moon, on the super moon, on New Year's Eve. And really, it's kind of going to be an outlook for your year. So listen closely as you will get the keys through Rachel, and I'm going to add some stuff as well, what your year is going to be about this year. Mm -hmm. So take it away, Rach. All right. Well, so Aries, we'll start with Aries. Um, uh, And uh, your year is all about vigor. It's all about, uh, it's, you've got Mars. Vigor, is that something you drink? (laughs) (laughs) Something I might drink. It can be. (laughs) (laughs) But it's, you know, this is, this year isn't necessarily a fight for you as much as it is just really, it's an opportunity to let go of any resistance that you have to moving forward in your life. Uh, There are some false starts. Uh, and some, and you could experience some road lo- roadblocks that you have to overcome to success, especially with business, uh, with relationships. This is this week especially uh, brings about a lot of of, uh, of of ambiguity. And so, if you meet somebody this week, if you're a single Aries and you're meeting someone this week, th- uh, 
it might not necessarily last forever. <laughs> what are you doing? Not that I'm playing with this thing. I'm playing with it because it's... Yeah. <laughs> Michelle's, Michelle's ringing in the Happy New Year. She's bouncing it in. <laughs> All right. So if Aries meets somebody this week, yeah. it's not going to last? Well, it, it might just be a hookup. All right. But it's something that... that I, I that, like hookups. <laughs> I mean... It's, it's something that could resurface back, resurface when we get into, into April. April. Exactly. April. Uh, and just, you guys, there's there's two months that I want you to think about. April and July this year. July, April and July, and October, too. Oh, October, October too. sort of like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. October right. is a big eclipse. Right. So, um, so that's Aries. Uh, the biggest, the biggest key for Aries is not to turn an, anything into a fight. Don't get angry. Don't, <laughs> or if you get angry, find healthy ways that are not destructive to, 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 to deal with your anger. Right. Don't scream. Don't scream. Or scream, scream in your car, not right. at other people. Road rage. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Taurus. Taurus. This Taurus. Is good, this is a good year for Taurus. I think it's a great year. It's, you oh. know, we're, we're, we're going to do a show on Chinese astrology, by the way, because we got Love the, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. do that it's in February. It's a wood horse, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah, it's a wood uh, horse absolutely. year. It's kind of crazy. What are mm-hmm. you, by the way? I'm a dragon. Are you really? I'm a, I'm a dragon. What, you, what dragon? I am a metal dragon. I'm a wood dragon. No way. Shit. No, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that, is li- that is insane. That is really insane. I didn't know that. All right, keep going. Okay, Taurus. cool, cool. Uh, so Taurus, actually, um, Taurus, one of, one of your biggest challenges this year is going, to be, uh, is going to be stretching your ability to trust other people. You can be a very independent sign, like to do everything yourself, very self-reliant. But this is the year where you get to commit to other people and nice. let other people come into your life so that, uh, so that you learn how to have fluidity and flexibility in relationships and let go of a little bit of a need to control or do everything yourself. So this is a real significant commitment year for you, Taurus. Marriages babies moving in together buying houses this is a year when all of that is pronounced do you hear that my brothers (laughs) not necessarily that it's easy because you do have an opposition from saturn but it but is it ever easy when it comes to that stuff (laughs) no no but (laughs) but it's it's a it's a real it's a real year of growth that's that sounds great for Taurus, yeah. and I think I think it's going to be an excellent year for for Taurians. I, I really so do. I do. You've got a lot of, of career success too. Uh, lots of new opportunities opening up for you. Again, April, July, totally big big totally. months. Actually, February too. I think even though we've got a Mercury retrograde in February, uh, February is a is a year when we or a month when we all sort of like breathe a collective sigh of relief because we've made it through January. <laughs> <laughs> January is a little tough. I'm just, uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's a little tough for uh, with the exception of maybe Gemini's. <laughs> you've got Gemini's, it easy this yeah, year. Yeah, <laughs> Gemini's have it easy. <laughs> and and, even, that? and Vir- Virgo's too. Virgo's, you've got it easy this, yeah. uh, this, uh, this year too. All right. So, uh, Gemini, Gemini's. Actually. actually, Gemini's, this is a year of gathering, uh, gathering together a network uh, and you're always networking. You're a sign that loves communication. But this is a year when your network steps it up a notch and you're able to draw on others for support. Um, this is a, a wonderful year in business. Um, uh, not a whole lot of, of struggle. Um, so the doors are kind, of, are kind of open for you. And especially once Jupiter moves into Leo and that's happening uh, in uh, that's happening in. Oh, it's it, space. It's I think aug- it's. I think it's um, March actually. No, it, no, 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 no. It's no. August. 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 Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um. Uh. So. So once. Uh. So once we get. Uh, once Jupiter moves into Leo, then there are so many opportunities that just open up for you. So you will feel like toward the latter part of the year, from July to December, uh, everything is just click, 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 snapping into place for you. Great year for, for writing projects, great year for publications, great year for video, if you're doing video work or photography or anything creative, this is a really good year for you, Geminis. Love, um, love has some ups and downs. And especially in the very beginning of, of the year. Um, once we get past April, though, then you can start seeing some stability in those relationships. Nice. Cancer. Cancer. You know my favorite cancer. I know. I love cancers. You love cancers. <coughs> I love Virgos. You love cancers. <laughs> I love cancers, too. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love Virgos, too. I have some really great cancers in my life. Um, okay, so cancer. Actually, you know, cancer, you are right in the middle of this 
of this grand cross. And so what that uh, the 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 what that does is that makes it so that the things that you that you set out to to attempt to, to initiate uh, are met with some resistance. Uh, resistance. But also, you know, you've got Jupiter that's inhabiting your sign for the first part of the year. So there's a sense that anything is possible and you can have anything you want. But when things don't happen exactly the way you expect them to happen or, or exactly as planned, then you, you uh, of all signs, have the tendency to lose faith. And, and sort of close in, shut off, and, and want to isolate from other people. This is not a year to do that. This is a year to keep on moving forward. And so if things don't turn out exactly as, as you, you'd planned, whether it's in relationships or work or with your families, then, uh, then, then know that it's a test of faith. Keep the faith and, and keep on moving forward. It's interesting. Marianne Williamson's a cancer and and there's all this opposition right now happening with Tons. cancer with all this uh, activity with Capricorn. They're opposites. Mm -hmm. But I think I think that motivates people more. I think that motivates I think people. You're more. Right. Yeah, I think it makes them say dig in their heels and say. No, I'm going to do this. Right. And I'm going to do it big. Right, right. It, m it, can, it can motivate you or it can cause you to give up. And so the people who give up uh, might feel a, a sense of, of, of pull back right. into, into that, mm -hmm. which, which they've started. Right. But, and um, Bob's a cancer. Or Bob Merrick. Is he really? He's a cancer, too. Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. yeah. A lot of cancers around here. Yeah. But he's got some Gemini in his chart. Libra. Uh, Libra. He's got Libra. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, he's got the moon and ascendant Libra. This would be a good year for him. Yeah, Libras. We're gonna get to your stuff in a minute. Yeah. Beck yes. Star. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Great. Uh, okay, let's go to uh, let's go to Leos. Leos, Leos, our favorite Leos. Leos are going to have a great I know. year. You, Leos, actually, this is going to be a really good year for yeah, you. Yeah, really finally. good year for you. Yeah, totally. Um, there's, there's not a whole lot of, actually, I think your key word for this year is glowing, um, uh, because that's, that's what you're going to be allowed to do, especially once we get in from, from July all the way until, uh, until January, until yeah. January of 2015. You're going to have a great you, stretch. You do. And, and there are, um, there are a lot of, uh, of romantic uh, influences happening for you this year. So professionally, there's glowing, there's there's shining, there's you in the spotlight. This is a very uh, abundant year for you. Uh, so if you're having money concerns, which I think a lot of us are, especially yes. now yeah. in this time of year, um, you know, money concerns sort of uh, go fall by the wayside and you're able to reap a lot of abundance, a lot of security. And this is a, a prosperous time for you, especially mm -hmm. toward the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah. It's the kind of year where you finally reap what you sow. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, now that. That brings up, you know, it's kind of an interesting uh, economic economic yeah. time uh, for the U.S. chart. Yeah. Uh, and so I think that we'll start, all of us will see a lot of changes happening uh, f in our financial, uh, in our big picture country, in our, in our country's financial uh, uh, institution. Uh, uh, There's institutions that will, totally. will fall this year. Will fall they will down. fall to the ground. Yeah. We but don't know what they are, but we know. You can guarantee it. You will listen to this broadcast again. And, yeah. A huge institution will fall this year. Huge. And a new one will emerge. Yes. But one just that will as be fast, right? Just as fast. One that will be more balanced and full of uh, of, of independent energy. So That's great. So non-partisan. So male-female energy. Totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Which we need a balance of. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. just believe we do. Yeah. All right. So uh, on that note, let's Virgo. go Virgo. Virgo. Our, speaking of uh, male-female energy. <laughs> <laughs> Virgo epitomiz epitomizes the, the male, female, female yeah, energy. Yeah, they they do. do. They really do. You're yeah. right. You're absolutely right. Uh, so Virgos, actually, I, th I think that this is going to be, uh, I think that this is going to be an interesting year for Virgos. Um, I say interesting because there are some real bright spots for Virgos. And especially when we get into, um, when we get into, when the sun gets into Cancer, uh, in, in late June, early July, that is sort of a highlighted time for Virgos. Um, there, because there is so much turbulence in in the cosmos and in our world and in our country this year, I think Virgos, your tendency is going to be to to get bogged down in some of the the worry, the detail, the detail, yeah. 
uh, of what am I going to do? How am I going to? Because everybody's feeling this tension, and you're the sponges of the zodiac that take on everything and take on the 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 need to analyze and 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 disseminate that information. And so for you, your your biggest task this year is going to be let go, <laughs> let go, let go, let go, let go of worry, let go of fear. Because when you do there this is a powerful year for you to uh to really manifest some financial security for yourselves all right before we get to libra which is next i want to go to break because we have what do we have we have libra scorpio, scorpio sag, sag capricorn and aquarius Pri- and, and pisces. pisces that's right so yeah. we're halfway point so let's <laughs> get to this let's get to our beautiful sponsors and we will be right back on pure polino <laughs> Looking for that special, unique gift this holiday season? Is someone you know changing careers, looking for love, wanting to start a family, or maybe even having health challenges? Astrology reports are fun, and they keep on giving with insights for the entire year ahead, while giving great direction and even opening up the door to new paths to follow. Check out purepolino.com to order yours today. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go, take a look. We are experts at video production. We have crews in over a hundred cities and the finest editors in the world. It's fun to create your videos, and that's what we love doing. We're good at that. But the most important thing is how do you use those videos? How do you leverage your video investment? We provide all the platforms to do that. Website design, social media, SEO, PR, and television. And all of those components do a dance that work in tandem with each other for a comprehensive marketing campaign that really helps grow your business. Ah, the holidays. A time for giving, a time for getting, and a time for going and going and going and going and going. going. When you need a break, we're here helping you make sense of all the good and the going of the holidays. Happy holidays from all of us at UBNRadio.com. And welcome back. This is Pierre Polino. My name is Michelle Polino. And with me, Rachel Lang. As always, on Tuesdays, we are talking astrological configurations, how they are affecting us and our spiritual growth. Because really, at the end of the day, that's what we care about is your spiritual growth. And our spiritual and our growth. spiritual growth. And together, we can make a difference. We can. Spiritual growth for all, all of us, for the world. Spiritual growth for everybody. <laughs> okay. So Libra. Libra's, Libra. Ooh, this you is guys gonna be, are going to oh. have the best year ever. See, she says this, but then I'm looking at all of these squares. Yeah, but you know Jupiter. as well as I do, when you have all these squares, uh-huh. it just you just won't sit down. Right. That's and, true. And that. It'll, it's a lot of a fruitful right. effort, fruitful work. Right. Um, great, great for business. Great for new, new beginnings. Uh, if you're entrepreneurial, fantastic year for starting something new, um, and uh, and for for breaking through any resistance. Right. A very powerful year. Your key word is power. There you go. And you're stepping into it this year, Libras. <laughs> <laughs> I love when she says it because she knows. <laughs> yeah, Scorpios. What, tell me what's going on with Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio. So here's the thing about Scorpios. Yeah. This is a this is a really this is kind of an introspective year for Scorpio. Oh come on! I don't want no more introspection. It is. It's well. It's it's an introspective year in that you are you you still have that Saturn or you not your you but all you Scorpios out there you you have the Saturn influence which really causes you to look at the past and dig I'm into so the, tired past of looking at the past and 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 healing the past and okay. letting go of the past and when you do that then you've got all of this uh, well you've started out the year with all this Capricorn energy which is which good. is good it's which good. is it's favorable that opens up opportunities in relationships I think that Scorpios you're that that is one area of your life that is going to to get a, a, a sort of a, a, a makeover this year your relationships and so uh, so if you're in a relationship that's struggling trust that by the time we get into April you will know what you need to do in that situation whether you need to to go to therapy or you need to uh, compl- go on a vacation or you need to completely and totally reinvent that experience for yourself. Um, and if you're single, this is a year for love. 
This is a year where you have the ability to meet your soulmate. Um, and, uh, and so it's a, it's a powerful relationship year for Scorpios. Business relationships count in that. Um, partnerships of all kinds. That's great. That's awesome. Great. Um, Sagittarians. Sag, our favorite Sag yeah, is. Yeah. So Sagittarians, it's, it's great because you're, you, you uh, have an ability to really shift gears if you need to. This is a year where you will be making moves. And you will be making major changes, and they're not met with a lot of resistance or a lot of struggle, but they're just sort of like the universe carries you into one other place. So dream big, set your intentions as high a as, as possible. Like Michelle was saying, your magic wand is just a focused thought. Send light into that thought, and you really have the ability to make some changes for yourself this year. And especially Sagittarius, you you guys uh, understand the power of positivity more than any other sign. Completely, you guys get it. You guys can be that embodiment. It's 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 quite incredible. Totally. So, uh, Sagittarius to Aquarius. Yes. Yeah. No Capricorns. No Capricorns. <laughs> She's uh. wanting to skip over. I Cap am. <laughs> I was like, it's a Capricorns. Uh, this uh, this is somewhat your year. Um, of course it is. You're starting it, yeah, off with a new moon uh, in your sign. In your sign. Pluto's in your sign. Right. Uh, Mercury's in your sign. We've got a nice little stellium right there in your sign. So we start this year off and everyone's in Capricorn mode. Venus is in your sign. So this is, uh, this is a time when you feel, this year you feel right at home. You feel like everybody's on playing on your field. Everyone's on, uh, on your side. Uh, and, and as long as you continue to 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 nurture those relationships to cultivate new relationships uh then you are you're in you're going to be in great shape great money year for you i would i would predict money yeah, yeah. i love the money yeah okay Aquari count the money count the money <laughs> demone <Yeah. laughs> do you remember that film i don't know if you remember it uh anyway if anybody remembers it please put, post it in the chat yeah, room yeah. i want to see if anybody has my mind <laughs> Which works wonders. Nobody has your I mind. You're exactly <laughs> your mind. <laughs> so uh, uh, now we get to Aquarius. Aquarius. So Aquarians, you know, I think that 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 because you're a fixed sign and you, you have um, and you are the the humanitarian sign, the sign that that advocates for social change and 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 really is driven by making a difference in the world. There are going to be plenty of opportunities for you to do that this year. And so this year is going to be, I would say, your key word for this year is. Uh, is uh, activism. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, activism in your own relationships. If things aren't working out, then you, you're you going to be vocal about it. And you're going to be sort of telling the truth and, and bringing truth to the surface. Uh, and uh, and especially, uh, you know, February is ex especially key for you. It's your, birth, it's your birth month. But we also have a Mercury in retrograde at that time that allows you to, to really relook at how you communicate with others. Mm. It's a it's a it's a very uh, it's a year where you will be stepping into the spotlight in a lot of ways um, and and really with a, a higher purpose. Good. Yeah. And good. Pi yeah, Pisces. 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 It's a it's a I think it's a good year for Pisces. Yeah, I really do. You've got Neptune in your sign uh, sort of opening up and expanding that creative ability, the, uh, the spiritual ability. And you also, uh, aren't necessarily too, uh, too affected by this grand cross that we have that we've been talking about. Um, it, they're all in, all those planets are in complementary signs. And so for you, this is a year of really watch, not, not only are you planting, but you're watching your plants grow. So you're watching the seeds of inspiration start to sprout and you're seeing how you can nurture those, how you can make what you want, whether it's love, whether it's work, whether it's a, a spiritual practice or whether it's a child, um, which I do think Pisces are, uh, are, are inclined to have very special relationships with little ones this year. And if you're a Pisces and you're wanting to have a baby, you're wanting to get pregnant, this is a year to do that. Um, uh, it's a it's a year when you're you're in a, you're returning to innocence in a lot of ways. Returning to innocence. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that was possible. <laughs> 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 so yeah. So okay. So that literally wraps it up, you guys. This has been a tremendous show. We have a tremendous year ahead of us. So really, do what Rachel says. Not not just burn that stuff that we want to get rid of, but plant the seeds immediately afterwards. We have two and we have an incredible new moon and a super 
moon to start off our new year. This has happened never before, especially conjunct Pluto. We have all these planetary configurations to make your dreams possible. But I'm going to tell you right now, this year you're going to work. It's a, it's a year to when you got to put your money where your mouth is. Mm-hmm. And that's it. Happy New Year's, guys. You guys in the in the chat room are saying Happy New Year. I, I got to tell you, we've met the most incredible people, and I'm so grateful for it. This show has been a gift from God. And we are grateful for it. And I want to thank all of our supporters and our listeners. And we're just just so happy to be here every week. I mean, we get to talk to thousands and thousands of people, and that's awesome. And we do it because we love it. So thank you so much. Uh, you know, breaking news, Polino returns to innocence and the world. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I love it. And the it. world benefits. <laughs> so uh, so to this year, work on really manifesting your dreams this year you can do it i don't care what they say i get a million emails here's abundance here's this here's that the only way you're going to do it is by actually going out and doing it making something happen and and if and i think that that you can draw on help for that so getting an astrology reading going to see your healer going to get acupuncture going to a therapist that is how you unlock the doors. Okay. Rachel, any, uh, any wishes for the new year? Besides global peace, a more moderate economy, and no more GMOs. <laughs> <laughs> and the end of mass incarceration. Right. And the end of mass incarceration. <laughs> uh, my wish is that we continue the show. That we uh, get and sponsors that we and get advertisers. Sponsors and advertisers. Yes, that would help. And and that we uh, that we open up to more prosperity and abundance in uh, in our lives and in whatever way that 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 comes. That manifests. The same goes for myself. Uh, I I do hope that we get some uh, sponsors and advertisers to keep us going and to bring more joy and happiness and spirituality to the world and astrology. Uh, a couple things before we go tonight. I will be back here on the air. Uh, I will be on the air from 8.30 to 9 Pacific, so I will be ushering in the new year on the East Coast. That's 11.30. I'll be, I'll be back on That's the so air great. for my East Coast friends, so you better turn my butt up. Um, also, uh, on this New Year's Eve, I just want to say gratitude is the way to go. I'm grateful for this uh, past year and the people that I loved and met. Uh, please sign up for my newsletter today. Follow us. Share the love. Share on your Twitter feed, Facebook. Know that you are as truly blessed as the love in your heart. I will leave you with another thought from Marianne's new book because uh, mine, and here it is, because mind is cause and the world is effect. We change the world by changing the thought we think about the world. Know that you are loved and that you love. See you later tonight at 830 Pacific. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year.